Hello and welcome to Reston Today. I'm your host, Andy Siegel. Thank you for joining us. In today's program, we'll get an update on the proposal for an indoor recreational facility. We'll have a look at RA's video entry into a watershed management awards competition. And you'll learn how you can get involved through volunteering. Finally, we'll take a tour of some of Reston's hidden treasures in a new segment we call Exploring Reston. You may have heard something of the proposed indoor recreational facility. After all, it's an idea that's been around for several years. This summer, the goal is to get your input. It's still early in the process, so Reston Association will be setting up a series of community district meetings in order to get you the latest and to get your ideas and vision. RA Board President Robin Smyers is here to tell us more. We've got an idea, but we certainly believe that the community telling us what they want uh, what should be included is the time right for us to do this. It's so important for us to hear from folks, so we want everybody to feel included. We ask people to be included, and we encourage you to come out to any and all of our public meetings so that you can give us your input. What we've been hearing for all these many years is, is there really a need for an Olympic-sized swimming pool and indoor tennis courts? So conceptually, uh, what would that actually have to look like so that we can take something to the membership for that input? And those community meetings that we're scheduling for June, July, and August will be so important for us to get that message across, but more importantly, for our membership to come back and tell us what you know everybody thinks about this idea, and again, what should be included in the facility. And it's so important for the community to participate in this process. Process. What you are seeing is a video produced for submission to the Environmental Protection Agency's Water Quality Video Contest. This stream used to be right here. The title of the program is Reston's Watershed Initiatives. It starts at home. As part of its mission, the Reston Association, a non-profit homeowners association, strives to keep its natural areas healthy. This means we develop many ways to reach out to our residents to help encourage personal involvement in the preservation of our natural areas. Hello, my name is Ha Brock and I'm the volunteer coordinator at the Reston Association. If you're looking to get involved in your community this summer, then Reston Association is the place to be. If you want to help the environment, join us on Saturday, June 13th at our third annual lake cleanup from 9 to noon. Or one of our Weed Warriors projects on Saturday, June 25th or July 27th from 10 to noon. If you're looking for a fun event to volunteer with your family and friends, join us at the Reston Festival on July 11th and 12th at the Reston Town Center. What do you miss when you hurry through Reston on your way to work or home or school? RA Board Vice President Kathleen Driscoll McKee shares with us some of Reston's hidden treasures in Exploring Reston. I'm Kathleen Driscoll McKee, Vice President, the Reston Association Board of Directors. Reston, where we live, work, play, and learn. Today, about Marymount University Reston Center. But I'm not alone. Monica Montoya, Director at Marymount University, the Reston Center, is with me. Today, you're taking a look at a point of inspiration, a graphic interior design project inspired by Bridget Murphy and Robin Wagner, two of our fine faculty here at Marymount. They spent their summer putting up artwork all over the center, using images from students, faculty, staff, and alumni, and also words inspired by their classes in interior design. We hope you enjoy the project. We're learning today about Northern Virginia Community College, the Reston Center. Each of the NOVA campuses has a signature program. The signature program for the Reston Center is the GIS program. Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Krimmer, and I'd like to welcome you to the Reston Center where one of our premier programs is Geographic Information Systems. We're very fortunate here at the Center that we have some great neighbors, including the U.S. Geological Survey and the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. One of the things we're able to offer here at the Center is a 29-hour Career Studies Certificate in Geographic Information Systems. We were recently awarded a nearly $500,000 grant from the Department of Labor to help develop a geospatial career pipeline, working with colleges and high schools across the Commonwealth. We'd invite you to please drop by the center to see what our program's about. We encourage you to stay in touch. You'll find this show and others on Reston Association's YouTube channel. Thank you for spending time with us in Reston. Goodbye. <laughs>